uncut fly fishing video. I fished this section of creek about three weeks ago with a soft plastic and the fishing was nuts. The very first hole, oh look, look two risers up there, there's a sign. The very first hole I fished was this hole and I caught two trout, I was just about to say. But I saw two trout rise up there. What are they rising for? Well, I'm fishing with a half down hopper. So hopefully they're rising for a grasshopper pattern. Something came to the surface about a foot in front of my fly then. I just saw the swirl just under the water. About there it was. You know, as I was saying, I fished this. Got him. I fished this creek a few weeks ago with a soft plastic. And it was just nuts. I had a wonderful time. Righto. Trout number one on the board on the first hole. We'll call this the erosion hole because this is where the flood damage came through before Christmas. Come on mate, come on, come on. Give me back me fly. Lovely little rainbow. Let's get my fly out of his mouth. Lovely little bow. Yum. I've been filming for 1 minute 24 of my uncut fly fishing video and I've already caught and released one fish. Can't ask for a much better start than that, can I? Now what I'm going to do is make a few false casts just to try and dry me fly a little bit. And I'll land it back on the water again. Is it still floating? Mm, not very well. <laughs> oh, that was still floating. Got him! Oh, something hit it. Oh, it didn't. It wasn't floating. It was just under the surface a little bit. Something there. Yeah, I might have to do a bit of work on me fly. I think. I might just also check my, uh, I've got to wipe my glasses because I've got water all over my glasses when that fish swam off. And I better just check my camera lens to make sure I'm not all wet. Looks good to me. Right now, see that? That, uh, that fly is absolutely drenched. Because that trout really gooped it in. But I've got this stuff here, it's like a silicon sort of stuff, I think. It's, I don't know what it is, but you, I don't know whether you can see it, but that fly is really, really wet. If I put that in there, shake it up a little bit. Have a look at it now. It's like a new one. Look at that, all fluffy and new. I'll also get a dab of floatant. I don't want too much, just a little bit. So I'll put it straight on the fly. And I'll just put that on the little knob at the back there. This fly is called a half down hopper. That's all I want, probably even too much. Just a little bit. Just to keep it floating and looking natural. In my edited videos, I normally edit most of that stuff out. Right now it should sit nicely on the water now. Oh, look at that. Sitting up there like Jackie, hey? Proud as punch. That's a nice drift there. my way through here I'll make a few false casts there we go land that up there I fish this creek a lot it's one of my favorites and it's easy to see why it's teeming with fish Well, if that first trout wanted the half down hopper, then I'm sure others will as well. That's the fly I'm using, it's a half down hopper. I'm going to have a mess. Time to reel in some slack. Start it again. Yeah, there is a bloke upstream on the creek here a few hundred metres. If I get up that far, 
and he comes over to say, you know, he's a very friendly fella. Then I'll uh, I'll have to stop and put a cut in the uh, unedited video. It won't be unedited. It won't be uh, it won't be edited. I'll just cut that bit. in a nice spot waiting 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 for a trout to take my flies a bit like waiting for a nibble when I'm bait fishing except rather than I actually see the fish nibble the fly <laughs> oh there goes a nice trout I must have spooked him I reckon yeah must have done <laughs> he must have seen me it is currently the Monday after the weekend, so this could have been fished on the weekend, just gone. Which means these fish could be very, uh, very flighty. Gee, I thought something would have hammered my fly in there. Lovely little run. Oh, very interesting. It's funny when I'm fly fishing, I'm constantly looking upstream ahead to see whether there's any fish rising in the next pool. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised nothing came out there. Uh, like I said, being the Monday after a weekend, just a normal weekend, not a long weekend, but being the Monday after a weekend, it could well have been fished just yesterday. It's <coughs> a nice little pool. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more action than I am. Oh, I missed him. I had a take. I had a take. It was quite a nice take too. Looked like a reasonable sized fish. He's not coming back for seconds though. I actually don't have very long today. I've got to pick a friend up nearby. Oh, there goes a fish. I've just spooked one on the back of the pool here, but if I was uh, soft plastic fishing, I would have had a cast there, but I just can't cast a fly into there. Up here, I might be able to, though. Yeah, I've got to pick a friend up in a little while, so that's why I'm in this area. And I thought, while I'm here, I'll make the most of the trip and take my fly rod. good. The fish don't think so, but I do. Come on, I know there's got to be one in there.
I wonder if I can get one over there. It's a bit uh, dodgy, but you never know. I thought about putting a nymph on underneath my dry, but like some people say, well, they say dry or die. <laughs> Go dry or die. The nymph will certainly catch more fish. If it was all about numbers and getting as many fish as I possibly could, I would absolutely be fishing a nymph right now. But it's not all about numbers, it's about excitement. I've seen something just devour my dry fly. I just spooked another fish. Spooking a fair. I'm not getting too many rising for my fly though. I'm surprised that didn't get clobbered. What about his time? So you'd think there'd be something sitting in there. They're very quiet. That hit. Oh, there's a little one just took off to the side. Yeah, I would have thought there'd be a fish sitting in there. Beautiful bit of water. Got a slime on me fly here.
and I've caught a rock, rock, rock. Got a bit of everything here. Sorry about the sniffing folks, I can't edit that out in an uncut video. Got him. Little one. Just taking a while. Oh, I've got me around that rock. Oh, he's out. They've been a bit slower than I thought they would be. I think uh, maybe it's been fished here on the weekend. Come on, mate. Let me get your hook out. Get the hook out of your mouth and get you back in. Trout number two. See you later, mate. It's taken a while. It's been a, uh, I thought I'd come up here and get a few, but it's been a little bit slow. That fly is still sitting nicely on the water, so no need to do any drying or white powder coating or whatever you call it. <laughs> Just keep casting and continue working my way upstream. Oh, got him. Oh, nice fish. Bigger than the last one. I was just about to open my mouth and say something when that fish hit. Now he's wrapped me around this snag. Come on, mate. A little bit bigger than the last one. Not as big as I thought he was, but... Another half down hopper munching lovely rainbow trout. Whoop, gone. See you later, mate. When he hit the dry fly then, I was just about to open my mouth and say one thing that you've got to be careful of in this slow water is that the line that you have laying on the water floating doesn't get picked up by the current because when the current washes that line downstream the fly drags and starts looking not natural and I just saw a rise up there then 
I was a fair way from that fly. I landed about a metre to the left of it. There's a bit of a breeze blowing across here and I think it might have picked up my, my fly line then. Oh, and that's too far to the right. Might work. <laughs> I know there's another fish feeding up here. It's just a matter of me finding it without spooking it. That's where it was. Oh, God, oh, he, he hit it. Didn't feel any weight, so he could come back, but I don't think he will. They're, they're certainly very, uh, very flighty in here today, these trout. I suspect that they may have seen a lure or two. Uh, there's the water in the gumboots. A deep little pool this one. Probably why it's got fish in it all the time. We always either catch or see fish in this hole. I've got to be careful that I don't uh, don't do that. Okay, it's fly fishing for you. I was just going to say I've got to be careful that I don't catch this tree behind me here now. Now a really normal slack line that I've got out and then I will make my way up to the next pool. A nice looking little pool it is too. Got him! I watched him come and grab that then. Probably the biggest one today. Come on mate. Ah. Now he's gone back up into the pool. Come down here. Ah. The water's lovely and cool. Beautiful rainbow trout. See you later. Look at him. Did swim through them rapids like they're not even there then. Has me fly look on the water. Can't even see it. No, it's not looking too bad. There it is. It's gone underwater. I think I'm going to need to do a little bit of work with my fly again. Shit. And my balance.
going under. Might be time for a little bit of treatment on my fly. I'll get the white powder out again. This is like a miracle drug for dry flies. Loon Outdoors Top Ride. I bought this off Darren Asquith in Benalla. <laughs> Good as a new one. Now we'll just top it up with a little bit of floatant if I can find where I put it. There it is. Let's put a little bit of floatant on there. Now I suspect that this is called a half down hopper because if you look at it, it's angled down like that. So the hook sits lower in the water. And I suspect that's why it's called a half down because it's halfway down. I reckon that'd be a pretty fair assumption to make if this fly is going to land on this deep little run here like a brand new one. Oh, look at that. Oh, one came under it. Oh, got him. Oh, I missed. He's, he's circled under it two or three times. I had too much line out. There he's, uh, he wanted it, but he wasn't super keen. I think this is a good fly today, it's working, but I don't think it's the best fly. I could change to a Royal Stimulator. I hate changing flies in an uncut video though. I suppose I could just cut out that bit. This one, look at the waves. God, oh, you idiot, it's struck too fast. There's no, there's no second chance draw at all, is there? Well folks, I was dearly hoping to end this video on a high note. I did see a fish in here. I think it's a combination of perhaps not the best fly on the day and I can actually see footprints here. I think it might have been fished on the weekend just gone. I managed to pick up a few and I've had a lot of fun. Uncut videos aren't for everybody, but they are for some people. Some people love the uncut videos so that they can see everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching.